another W for the Sooners. Well, not yet. But this one is definitely coming down the line. But I want to talk about a prospect that's been getting a lot of crystal balls over the last few days to come to Oklahoma as a commitment date has been set for July 25th. We're going to talk about Eugene Brooks, the interior offensive lineman at a Sierra Canyon in California. So let's dive into him. We'll look at some of his film and I'll tell you why Coach Bill Beatonbow has a type. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. If you are new to the channel and you like this content, hit the like button as well as subscribe. We would love to have you join this great community of college football fans. We're pushing for 10,000 subscribers and we're going to get there because of you, the people. And so let's jump into Eugene Brooks. So I was looking at him up, got back in town, been hearing about him before I left, came back earlier this week. And when I saw all the crystal balls come down, I was like, okay. What is it about him that Coach Beatonbow wants him? Because we got Isaiah Otley out of Mississippi, which, you know, is basically the only offensive lineman that's committed so far. And we're starting to see some more players come down the line. We've got a local player out of Edmond, uh, Santa Fe. We'll talk about him a little bit later. I give him his own time. But when I saw the Eugene Brooks piece, I was just like, okay, what is it? What's jumped out? And there's something I've recognized about Coach Beatonbow. This class in 2024, and we talked to Colin Kennedy here on the show recently from Sooners Illustrated at 24-7. He was talking about how this class, you know, there's a, there's a particular type that they go after, and this class isn't really full with a bunch of them. And even though we were in a running for a lot of top players, it's crazy how now seeing what these players are, I figured out the type that Coach Beatonbow has. And so let's jump into the film. Let's jump into the measurables of Eugene and then jump into the film and I'll explain my theory. So as you can see here, six foot four, roughly 325 pounds, offensive lineman, Eugene Brooks. He is uh, considered a consensus three star, but rivals and ESPN has him four star. He's top 30 on both of those sites as well as top 30 on 24 seven, but he's top 12 on rival so basically a four star on a couple of sites three stars on others measures out automatically right around the three star for now high three star early four star but besides that when i looked at the film and watching him play i looked you know looked at the athletic background and the background states that he played guard but he's also he's being recruited as a guard but he's played tackle and he plays a lot of tackle in high school and I was like, ah, there it is. There's my beating bow theory. He likes extremely versatile offensive linemen, especially if you're on the interior. He wants you to be able to play tackle and guard. And it makes me think back to the last a couple of players that we I recognize, especially one, Tyler Guyton. Guyton came in as a really big project from a TCU. And he wasn't getting a bunch of run, but he's played both sides of the ball. He's also played in a few spots on the line and beating both got him, saw how raw his talent is, how huge of a human being he is, put him out there and boom, next thing you know, dude's one of the top tackles in the country. In my personal opinion, I think he's first round pick, but I digress watching the film on Eugene. Yeah, he, he can move. He, he's got good steps. He's got strength. I mean, at 6'4", 325 is always a plus to have, you know, a big offensive lineman like this. But I've noticed that that is what beating but goes for. He goes for, he has that type. His type is offensive linemen that are extremely versatile. And because he's versatile, I can see why we're going to go after him. You know, he can push people around. He can pull. And I think the motion piece is the thing jumped out to me too. Is like they kept putting him in motion. You know, he'd come out. Step out from tackle, go in motion like he's a dang fullback. And so it's like he can play fullback, he can play tackle. He goes, he's very versatile. And so that to me adds to just what Coach Bo likes to do. We freak out that we're not seeing all the top tier five-star players get picked by him. And I recognize there's a reason. He doesn't want to put himself in a box with a lot of the players. He does want those that are versatile enough to play multiple positions from center to guard to tackle. And I think that's part of the philosophy of development that he has because that's what it seems. So that's my theory. Hop in the comments. Let me know. Do you think I'm off on my theory? Does, does it resonate with you? Would love to hear from you all on that. And so, but back to Eugene himself, he, from Las Vegas, and then he moved to Sierra Canyon, California, his sophomore year. And so 
DeMarco Murray has a little bit of ties there because, of course, the Las Vegas guy seems to bring a lot of Las Vegas players to Oklahoma, which his recruiting story is still the most fascinating of how he was found because he was found playing basketball, supposedly, and was dunking the ball. And Bob Sleeve said, who's that guy? And ever since then, he's been in Oklahoma. And so, and even now as a coach, and the last W that he got with uh, the five-star running back in uh, Taylor Tatum. But I digress. DeMarco Murray played a good part into this as well. But that move for Eugene, going from Las Vegas to Sierra Canyon, didn't mess up the communication of the opportunity for him to come to Oklahoma. And so it looks like he's down Oklahoma and Texas. I'm leaning Oklahoma. It looks like we're going to win it, hence why I'm talking about him right now. But we will have another video up uh, for him in detail on the 25th once the commitment comes to the line. So... Hop in the comments, let your boy know what's your thoughts on Eugene Brooks. You excited about the Sooners winning this battle? Because I sure am. If you are new to the channel, actually you've made it this far, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the content coming down the line. We're talking a lot more ball over the next few days. Live streams are going to ramp up. We'll probably start going to two times a week um, as we prepare for the upcoming season. And so, yeah, time to get excited. There's also a bunch of of recruiting updates coming down the line because yeah, we're going to see a lot of commitments very soon. So YouTube says, watch one of these videos, curate them perfectly for you all myself. And uh, we will talk very soon because there's a lot more recruits to talk about. Peace.